Guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Fulitrani and we're going to talk about computer science facing students facing a shrinkage in the job market. This is breaking news, man. Let's get right into it. A new reality is setting in for students and recent graduates who spent years holding themselves for careers at the largest tech companies. Now, if you guys don't know about computer science, especially if you read threads like Reddit and other community posts, Twitter, Discord, this degree is seen as one of the high tier IT degrees within IT. It's a very difficult degree, very challenging, but what very rewarding. All right. And now this degree is facing a tough jar market. And I'm telling you, you'd be surprised what you see on Reddit. Oh, computer science degree. There's no way you could be unemployed. You're set for life. This is changing that. And this is interesting. We're going to read about this. We're gonna scroll all the way to the bottom. I wanna talk about this. Let's see. Students are still getting multiple job offers, said Brent Winkman, chief of staff for the computer science department at the University of Texas at Austin. They just may not come from Meta, from Twitter, or from Amazon, because that's the thing. People get these degrees, and shout out to computer science holders. Shout out to you guys. You guys went through the rigorous work. Rigor study time to get that beneficial degree. That's dope. I tip my hat off to you. Now, some of these people try to get in the thing or manga, however you want to say it. You know, Meta, Amazon, Netflix, Google, and so on, so on. All right. Let's scroll down. Where's this part? Ugh, I found a really good part. I wanted to talk about right here. Uh, this is the point. Okay. I'm not saying all computer science people do this, but some. I show, well, this. Uh, person right here. I chose to major in computer science so that I could get a ton of offers after college and make bank. All right, that's a financial motive and major everything. You know, especially when it comes to college, you get the you go for your STEM degree to what a high paying job. Get a high paying job. That's the purpose. That's the main pushing factor. All right, especially for computer science. Now I don't know how much debt this person's in, or some people put themselves through computer science, but they expect to cover that when they get their six figure high paying job. Now that's the primary reason people get computer science degree, but I'm going to read on In interviews, 10 college students and graduate recent graduates said they were not prepared for a slowdown in jobs at the latest tech companies. Guys, if you've been lit, if you haven't been living under a rock, you would know that tech IT is going through hiring freezes, layoff. Layoffs, man. I'm lay I, I recently spoke about this on the Black High channel. One of my employers went through a layoff, 10% reduction. Guys, this is real. This is real. This is not playing. Now, people in school, you know, just focus on school, four years in school, three years in school. I doubt they're really in the job market because they're what? Focusing on school. They're not doing, they're not doing both. Like some people are who are in school and doing full-time roles. So by the time they graduate and hit the job market, it's like, whoa, huh? What's going on out here? What, huh? Hiring freezes? Huh? Wait, I need experience? It's, they're confused. They're confused. And this is what this article is showing that. So let's read. Until recently, those companies were fiercely competing to hire computer science majors at top school. Companies, rec recruiters were looking for these graduates, these blue chip uh, graduates. Oh, where that? Where that? Oh, oh, got them. Now it's flip. Hey, 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 we don't, uh, lay, uh, I don't know. Guys, <laughs> let's go. With some students receiving multiple job offers with six figure starting salaries and five digit sign on, signing bonuses, an entire genre of TikTok videos, TikTok, <laughs> has sprung up dedicated to young techies extolling their job perks and their annual compensation with at least one highlighting a 198,000 package complete with stock options and relocation expenses. Now, yeah, <laughs> I don't know if you guys heard about the, this is a side of tick. I, again, I don't use TikTok. I don't have the app. This is a side of TikTok where people they'll flaunt. Hey, ha, you guys, look what I'm making in tech. I'm at Apple. I'm at Twitter, just chilling, doing nothing and stuff like that. And what it teaches other people. Oh, shoot. This is easy. This is light work. I want to get into again. They. Uh, I don't want to say this word, but they trivialize IT. Oh man, what? Oh, that's so cool. 
they don't know the back end. <laughs> they don't know the back end, man. They do not know. All right, let's read on. Dozens of people who were recently laid off or whose tech job offers were rescinded have posted details on their plight on LinkedIn. All right, let's go to LinkedIn, guys. What's going on on LinkedIn? Same thing. Now, you're going to have a lot of people talk about this issue, and we're going to read about this. Look at this. This is from Lamette Patel from LinkedIn. Shout out to him. A new reality is setting in for students in reaching graduate who spent years honing themselves for careers at the largest tech companies. We just read that, and a lot of people are talking about it. Look at this. Getting a computer science degree needing... Bro, come on. Look at that. <laughs> look at that. And, you know, this part, a lot of people could find this controversial. Most bachelor degrees have little to nothing to do with the day-to-day -day role you have directly at the college or ever. There's, there's truth into that. There is truth into that. Now, I want to read this part. To any, He's giving you guys tips, and I'm going to read this off to you. Any computer science, you know, people majoring that, I'm going to give you guys tips. I'm not in the degree field. I'm doing, I'm doing another uh, degree. To anyone graduating soon with a computer science, data science, or tech-focused degree, find an industry you're passionate about. That's tip number one. Identify the size of company, whether you want to do a small, medium-sized, big range. Network with individuals at those companies and ask them about their experience. Apply to many jobs. Now, shout out to Eric Gonzalez. He's giving you guys great tips. And these four tips I personally used during my job hunt many months ago. Okay, if I'm passionate about cyber... Okay, let's go. Let, let me read more about it. Let me read blogs. Let me do some labs and stuff like that. Second tip, find a size company. Do I want a big company or do I want a small personal company I want to get in? Big company is more structured. You know, there's better standards and stuff. Smaller, it's like, oh, okay, we're building it while we're flying. I might have to wear multiple hats and stuff like that. Find your fit. Network with individuals at those companies and ask about the experience. This is something I did on LinkedIn a lot. I will <laughs> LinkedIn mail people, hey, how is it like working at X? Oh really? Wow, that's that's dope. That's how you get insight on the job market instead of hearing just buzzwords. Oh, cybersecurity. All right, act, had, when was the last time you talked to a cybersecurity professional and asked him how his experience is like in the field? And lastly, apply to many jobs. It's, it's a numbers game. It is a numbers game at the end of the day. You gotta throw out your application on many engine sites. Simply hired, LinkedIn, Indeed, Monster, ZipRecruiter. You gotta toss that thing out, cause why? It's a deep, it's a competitive market. What makes you special? What makes you stand out from the other competition? And now we have the point where computer science degrees are taking a hit. Computer science majors are taking a hit in the job market. It's gonna get rough. What's gonna make you stand out? Do you have backup plans for your backup plans? Let's go on. And then we have, look at this. Very hard to project where computer science industry is heading. I never, I to be honest, I would have never saw this coming just keeping it real keeping it real this is a heavy part shout out to dr michael universities that sponsor computer science degrees also need to pay attention to market conditions again um let's use cybersecurity for example you see a lot of courses or cybersecurity degrees being pushed out get in cyber get into get into the fight we there's a cyber shortage but they don't realize they don't realize that the market's for what it's for cybersecurity professional and stuff like that. It's for cybersecurity professionals that are struggling in this market. All right. They don't understand that. They don't understand that this real skill shortage is in what? Professional people in the field. Seniors, not entry level. The market is not towards them. So that's just something to throw out there. All right. Let's read on. Let us read on. Economy, yes, for sure. Yet, how about a lack of relevance? Little context to reality. Practical development, the sad belief, but dude. <laughs> okay. And so on and so on. So you're gonna see a lot of, lot of, oh, wow, look at this. I wanna talk about this because I'm currently in WGU. I just, look at him. I just graduated from WGU with a computer science degree. He's ready to hit the workforce. This is a prime candidate. All right. Look at, oh my God, this is perfect. This is not even planned. Look at this part if you guys can see it. But I am having very little luck hearing back from companies that I apply for. Whoa, guys, what, what's going on? I thought this was the ticket. I thought if you get your comp side bachelor degree, you're in six figs. What is going on? 
The market is down. Let's read on. I know the way, old way of knocking on doors is dead, but is there a better way in today's job market than simply filling out the forms online and hoping the bot passes them along? Guys, damn, bro. This is crazy. This is crazy, man. This is completely crazy. And this is something we should all look at and prepare ourselves. Okay, are we ready to hit the market? What is the market looking like? Am I prepared to fight? All right. And actually, I want to go back to that last article we were looking at. There was a... I want to read this part right here. I want to see the comments. I want to see the comments from the people. What are their thoughts on this? Uh, let's see. This changes. Yeah. Look at this, man. <laughs> All right, yeah, we're gonna get off this comment thread, but this is this is crazy, man. This is crazy. All right, so what do you guys think about this? You know, put your thoughts in below. What do you guys think? Computer science, and again, this is not a diss to computer science major or graduate. Shout out to you guys. You guys went through the rigorous program, all that mathematics and stuff like that. Shout out to you guys. But we have to be prepared for the upcoming job market and current job market. Are we prepared? Do we know what's out there? All right, so this one's a comment on that. And yeah, all right, let's move on to our next subject. All right, next subject, fishing in the cloud. We're gonna need a bigger boat. <laughs> Shout out to Dark Reading. They, they dropped some good articles. So we're gonna talk about fishing in the cloud. Now, if you guys don't know what the cloud is, Cloud is bo booming. I define a cloud as using IT resources over the internet. You know, that's not my definition of the cloud, but many people have their own. Now, the cloud is booming. We, whether you know what the cloud is or not, you're using it day-to-day -day life. Google Drive, all right, um, WebEx, virtual call, that's all cloud. Now, again, <laughs> cybersecurity threat actors are what? attacking you from the cloud now believe it or not <laughs> so if you're like goku on nimbus you gotta watch out for frieza which would be the attackers in that scenario all right let's see phishing has long been one of the best ways to gain access to target organizations now this is very 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 true all right phishing you'd be surprised and i see it in the field phishing could cause damage it could cause damage you click one link you click one attachment you're done and this is why it's important to go undergo fishing training courses when you're studying for cybersecurity or just to get your game up all right let's read on the same cycle has started to repeat itself with on-premise targets organizations have started to make advances in securing their internal network against using endpoint detection response edr all right now, let's go right here. Why your cloud infrastructure is a top top target for phishing attacks. So there's, there's three cloud vendors. You got Amazon, Azure, and Google. All right, those are the top three so far. Those are the top targets now. And I believe Amazon is in the lead um, regarding the cloud space. All right, the cloud has given fishers a whole new frontier to attack. And it turns out it could be da very dangerous. SaaS environments are ripe targets for phishing attacks and can give the attacker a lot more than access to some emails. Security tools are still maturing in this environment, which offers attackers a new window of opportunity where methods such as phishing attacks can be very effective. Woo! <laughs> God, this is heavy, this is heavy. And again, for those who still don't understand a phishing attack, liken it to an actual fishing a fisher in the fishing rod he puts bait on the hook tosses it out into the sea and waits for a fish to nibble on it and then, and then once you that fish bites on it reels them up okay we got it same thing in cybersecurity. the hackers will throw out bait free 10,000 amazon gift card just click this link and enter your information you do that you've been fish all right they stole your credentials all right so that's just for those who still don't understand what a phishing attack is now, the Dropbox, ironically, not, not ironically, but Dropbox had an incident due to a phishing attack against its developers, all right? They were tricked into giving their GitHub credentials to an attacker by a phishing email. 
and fake website despite multi-factor authentication mfa jeez guys 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 all right so uh, for guys who don't understand mfa multi-factor authentication let's start with this you put in your password all right you authenticate it once and now there's two sometimes there's two factor authentication so not only do you need to put in a username password you gotta do another step to confirm okay this is me so that's where mfa comes into multi-factor authentication so that's gonna be like your duo prompts all right you, your optica prompts and stuff like that so you're gonna see stuff like that where you have to confirm along with putting in your password so you have people who not only get get their cred stolen which if that happens okay what if the hacker tries to log in they still need that mfa to go through they also trick you to making the mfa go through to through mfa fatigue crazy stuff this is crazy man wow 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 all right but it looks like drop talk drop boxes recovering from that all right so again this is a good point right here security in this scenario could be a challenge so security anywhere is a challenge all right especially in the cloud which is growing and growing and growing and there we go octa octa that's how i pronounce it octa you know this is i was mentioning that it's a, it's a platform i personally use for mfa and stuff like that so again guys let's let's close it off with this phishing is here to stay all right phishing and social engineering in general will never be left behind attackers they're gonna attack the war is not gonna stop all right let's keep let's keep it real let's be legit it has been a effective attack method for years and will be for as long as people communicate it is critical to understand that these attacks are not limited to the infrastructure you own or manage direct manage directly SaaS is especially at risk due to the lack of visibility most organizations have to what actually happens on those platforms their security cannot be written off as someone else's problem as simple a simple email and fake website is all it takes to get access to those resources man and that goes back to the last pass hack the gta 5 6 leak it all goes back to social engineering stealing creds trickery of people all right so that's that portion on fishing in the cloud man all right let's talk about <laughs> this this is a little bonus piece chat g gpt now a buddy of mine was showing me this a couple hours ago and this thing is crazy, bro. So I'm gonna show you guys. Let's say you have a question. Let's say how to become a SOC analyst. All right, click that in. Bam. Guys, look at this. An AI, it, bro, oh my God. An AI is telling me how to become a SOC analyst. I'm not, this is not another human on the side, on behind the screen. This is an AI, all right? And this is, just shows you the growth of technology in the future we're heading into. And it's still going, <laughs> it's still going. And it's giving out certs. It's giving out the CISP. <laughs> the sort of, this is giving out the CEH. Dude, this is freaking, get your bachelor's. Get, get computer science, did we just go over this? <laughs> computer science, really AI? I don't know if I wanna go for that degree anymore. The market's kind of tough. God, guys, this is crazy. <laughs> This is crazy. Oh, oh, here, let me type it. Let me type in this. What is phishing? All right, for those who don't know what phishing is, let's see if the AI can break it down. Oh, I think I got him there. Ah, oh, damn, he got me. Phishing is a type of cyber attack in which the attacker uses fake emails, websites, or the communication to try to trick the victim into giving out sensitive information, such as login credentials or financial information. Man, this dude, this thing is crazy. I mean, you guys can play with this on your own time. You guys get stuck. Instead of actually Google Reddit, go to chat GPT. <laughs> well, yeah, that's gonna be the video for today, guys. This was very interesting, very informative. Whatever, tell me what you guys think in the comment section below. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. All right, guys, take care. Peace.